top items to pack for Hajj or Umrah for women. So number one, we need to remember to pack spare clothing, whether it's uh, one set or a few sets, just to be able to change when you need to purify yourself again and um, you know just to have a set available when the others are in the washing. Again, we need to remember that this is not a holiday, so a few items is enough. And of course, if you're going to go shopping, then you know you can purchase more things out there. Number two, uh, you're going to need essential toiletries, fragrance-free because of Hajj and Umrah restrictions. Again, remember that everything can be bought out there, so just your essentials. And number three, we come to the most important items, which are your Qur'an and your Dua book. So that should be number three and four. So Qur'an, for obvious reasons, you're going to be doing a lot of tilawa. You want to be memorizing for uh, using in your salah and, you know, just for general ibadah. With your dua book, of course, um, it, this is essential because you need to know at every step of the way for either Umrah or for your Hajj. The, uh, the du'as that you need um, to be performing. So the other important element is if you've been requested um, to make du'a for other people, then you can keep a list in your du'a book as well as to who you'd like to make these du'as for. So these are the most essential things. And of course, just remember that anything else can be bought out there. And this is a spiritual retreat. So the focus should be on the Hajj and Umrah and it's not a holiday. And ladies can go shopping either before or after. So just remember, ladies, you can get everything out there. So there's no need to overpack or, you know, pack many suitcases like as if you're going on a holiday. Just the minimal requirements of clothing and toiletries and your Quran and your dua book and everything else can be bought out there. Follow us and subscribe now on all things Hajj and Umrah.